Eve Barlow, who was dramatically kicked out of the courtroom for texting in the front row, is now a Twitter crusader, lashing out against Johnny Depp's recent performances and eventual win. But now it turns out Amber Heard may be the one behind the keyboard. A few days ago, Barlow went rogue on Twitter, attacking Depp, from the days of the UK trial to the recent Virginia win. But netizens now believe Amber was the one using Barlow's account, especially considering how she played with the words. So what did Amber tweet that is creating a rift on the internet? Let's find out. If you followed the bombshell battle between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, then you might have spotted Eve Barlow's face before. She's a 36-year-old journalist from Scotland now living in LA. Her Twitter account has over 60,000 followers and her bio reads The Interrupter, Journalist, Zionist, Feminist, Scottish. The social media warrior used to be a deputy editor of Music Bible NME magazine and has written for multiple publications, including The Telegraph. Now, a few days ago, Barlow went on a Twitter rampage, firing shots at Depp. The tweets posted back to back made people think that it was actually Barlow's BFF who was behind the keyboard. One of the posts reads, Johnny Depp was not a credible witness. That's why he lost against The Sun in the UK. And that's why Justice Nichols believed Amber's testimony. In in the U.S., the judge ran the courtroom as a zoo in order to diminish everyone's credibility, and it became a popularity contest. Another one reads, Popularity contests don't concern how desirable a person is to be around or how justified they are in their actions, but how beneficial their standing is for others. For Chu, for Vasquez, for PR, for every one of Depp's witnesses, and for every media company that's cashed in. The two women have been hanging out around each other since the trial ended, so it won't be strange that they share a Twitter handle. It's unclear how Barlow became besties with Amber, but the pair have been spotted together in both London and LA, and most recently in Tel Aviv, Israel. In the past year, however, the girls have been inseparable, and Eve has defended Amber's every move. The gutsy journalist sat with Amber's legal team on the front bench of the trial until a furious judge kicked her out. She even attempted to intervene during the trial to get a deaf-friendly witness, Gina Duters, dismissed, according to court insiders. Eventually, the judge had put up with enough of Barlow's antics and banned her from the courtroom altogether. After her dramatic exit, Barlow continued to stand up for Amber online by preaching to her thousands of Twitter and Instagram followers. Most recently, she's laid into debt for his appearance on stage with touring rock singer Jeff Beck. As soon as the messy trial concluded and both parties began their wait for a verdict, the Pirates of the Caribbean actor joined his old maid at Sheffield City Hall for a show. The pair sang covers of John Lennon, Marvin Gaye, and Jimi Hendrix in clips that have gone viral in social media by adoring fans. But Barlow was having none of it, rushing to Twitter to spread her disapproval. She wrote, So Johnny Depp is on tour with Jeff Beck. She continued, That's the domestic abuse victim waiting for his defamation case verdict, the one who's been cancelled. In a second tweet, Barlow then added, Meanwhile, Amber Heard doesn't have PTSD. Wake up. Hashtag, I stand with Amber Heard. Meanwhile, there's a petition calling out Barlow to be banned from Twitter. Part of the petition reads, Eve Barlow is a dangerous Twitter user who is spreading misinformation and propaganda. She has over 60,000 followers and her account is followed by many celebrities, including Amber Heard. Barlow has been tweeting in support of Heard since she filed for divorce from Johnny Depp, and she's been using her platform Forum to attack Depp and his fans. Some of Barlow's tweets are protected, so you can't reply to them, which only adds to the sense that she is trying to silence dissent. Will the calls for her removal increase after the latest tirade? We'll find out pretty soon. Remember, this information is based on theories and opinions, and therefore shouldn't be considered facts. And that's it from us today. Until next time, bye!